Hey guys, what is up? It is M and our animals here, and I am coming at you with a red-eyed tree frog video. And he is currently in a Exoterra 11.5 for the inches for length, 11.3 inches for the height, and 11.5 inches for the width. So that's the tank. It has the little lock here, so you can pull open the glass doors and stuff. So I'm gonna click. I'm gonna do that. And here he is, right there. He is a male, he did croak. And this is his water dish. He does have a foam background. It's just painted to look like rocks and stuff. Then he has some bark to climb on. Or, and then in his water dish, there are rocks in there for him to stand on when he drinks because they aren't very good swimmers and in fact, they can drown. And I usually miss him about three to four times a day, sometimes more, sometimes less. And the substrate I do use is coconut fiber and moss. And I use rocks. I put pebbles in there for like a water filtration system and stuff like that. So yeah, when you are gonna handle your red-eyed tree frog, if you do have one, is you wanna make sure they are very wet and so are your hands because the oils, excuse me, from your skin can damage them. And yeah, he is awake during this video. Usually he's not awake during the day, but I guess he is now. Um. So yeah, once again, the tell if they're male or female, if it croaks, it's a male. And I did read online sometimes the females can croak, but I don't really know. I've never really heard of that other than there. So, yeah. Um, also, another thing when you're handling them, their limbs, as you can see, are very thin and stuff. His kind might look a little fat because he might have ate not too long ago or something like that. But, yeah. So, they can break. Obviously, that's not good for your frog. Um, so, yeah. I just missed him himself a few times. Then I'll miss his tank and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna take him out for a little time just to show you guys how I handle these guys. So yeah, there he is, he's right here. I'm just gonna hold him here just in case he wants to jump, he can jump in his tank. So yeah, here he is. He's pretty cute. I love red-eyed tree frogs. They're one of my favorite amphibians in the frog species. So yeah, here he is. He is uh, an adult, if not, probably gonna be an adult in a month or two. So yeah, I'm just gonna put him back just because he's not, he, he doesn't really like being held because he will jump up often. So there you go, look at how long and skinny his legs and stuff are. <laughs> he looks pretty funny right there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut his tank right now and just log it. He does eat crickets. I usually will do small to medium crickets for him. Once in a while, I'll throw in the occasional mealworm. So yeah, he, what obvious he he likes those and stuff like that. Um, I do. I'll change his substrate once to twice every one to two months, depending on how I feel. If it's dirty or not, then his water once every two weeks or so. Or if it just looks like, once again, it's kind of dirty and, like, nasty and doesn't look very healthy for him. Um, these guys are nocturnals. Nocturnals. Nocturnal. Because, as you can see, he has a little black slit in his eye and the rest of his eye is, like, large. So that's how you can tell if they are nocturnal. And also, they do sleep most of the day unless you handle them or take them out. Or if they just want to be out in general. They do eat at night. Sometimes I will catch him at night searching for crickets and stuff like that um what else so yeah i think that might be about it guys so if you have any questions any questions at all on the red-eyed tree frog or any animal in our video you can comment it in the comment section of this video you can dm us on our instagram page at mnr animals um or you can also just write it in the comment section of mnr animals one of our pictures and stuff like that we have a few of those. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.